Hey y'all, Rick Fearless Fearless. Stroker's Dallas, Stroker's Ice House, Punch Wally Garage, and Fearless Services. Good morning. How you doing, all right? Today is Flip It Sunday, June the 16th, 2024, year of our Lord. Season number two, episode number 168. In today's show, we will cover Father's Day, we will cover Southwest Bank, and we will cover Pop. Yes, I said Pop. Let's go in my life, the 366 Project, coming to you almost live from almost downtown Dallas, in the powerful CHUMP studio, brought to you by Reliable Diamond Tool. That's ReadyTo.com, R-E-D-I-T-O-O.com. Check them out. Also brought to you by Simpson Helmets, Simpson Motorcycle Helmets. If you got a $100 head, then wear a $100 helmet. If your head is priceless, wear a Simpson. They're the best. We are a dealer. Strokers. Uh, yeah, Strokers Dallas. I went brain dead there for a second. Strokers Dallas Merch, M E R C H dot com. Senior moment. Today, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine goes back to 1995. In 1995, I wanted to open a motorcycle shop. I needed to loan and I wanted to get an SBA loan. Keep in mind that I had already worked almost 20 years with Roach Paint Glidden uh, and you know I was 38 years old, 37, 38 years old, had great credit, bought and sold houses, you know I bought and sold a few houses I go into my bank for an SBA loan that was Southwest Southwest Bank and Trust there in Plymouth Park close to where I worked for Roach Paint Glidden the uh, lender that did the SBA loans was young guy younger than me and I had an application in for a couple other banks. Well, they all turned me down except for the one guy that I knew that was an SBA lender with another bank. But I really wanted to do business with my bank. So, filled out the paperwork. He said, I think we can help you out, but we just need you to do one thing. And I said, sure, what's that? He said, we need to get your uh, pop to co-sign. And at first I thought, what? I'm 38, 39 years old, 37, whatever I was. And you want me to get my daddy to co-sign a note? I've had a bank account here for 20 years. The guy was younger than me and I started to bow up and I said, yes, sir. And I called my pop, telling him that I went before the bank. And the kid up there that was in the SBA department would like Pop to co-sign that note. Pop said, no problem, where do I sign? When you want to meet me up there? So I got a 10-year note from the SBA. And uh, I paid it off in seven. So my dad was never out of a dime for uh for any of that so happy father's day to my my biological father harry fairless who's in heaven and happy father's day to my pop that raised my brother and i who's in heaven happy father's day to my brother 
who's one of the best dads I know, probably the best dad I know. He's he's a great dad and a great grandpa. Happy Father's Day, Rand, and especially Happy Father's Day to our grandpa that uh, taught my brother and I how to be men. All right, let's check that chuck. That's enough of that mushy stuff. Check that. Woo, hey, look at that. You got a boot bottom. Woolrich. Kind of a grayish black and a lighter grayish black and a dark black. You got these flip rings. Black tool, black sole, no racing stripes, no vent holes. Black shoestrings. One eye down. Double knotted for safety. These are, say it with me, y'all. These are... Some handsome chucks. You want to look around the office? All right. You know, let's go right here. So this Bud Light... Uh, what do you call those things? You know, the top flips up and you can drink beer out of it. I don't even know if my kids know this or my wife knows this or they remember. My bi biological dad, Harry Fairless, he's in there. His ashes are in there. Part of his ashes are in there. He loved drinking Bud Light and uh, I spread some of his ashes all through uh, Irving and Dallas and I kept the rest and it's right there. Okay. Weren't expecting that, were you, boys and girls? I wasn't expecting to go there, but it's Father's Day, so. So to my kids, Biggin and Rat, your grandpa's in there. Okay, 75 years ago today, the 16th of June, 1949, was a Thursday. We went to town this evening. Lee and Ronnie came home with us. I made me a house coat this morning. <laughs> Grandma made herself a house coat. How many of you have made yourself a house coat? Okay. I guess you saved a couple of bucks, Grandma. Dad joke. I thought my dryer was shrinking my clothes. But it was my icebox. Get off the couch, a motivational minute. When life gives you a hundred reasons to cry, show life that you have a hundred reasons to smile. A thousand reasons to smile. What does that mean, Mr. Fairless? Heavy on that, mister. That means... Keep a good attitude. That means keep your head right. You know, it's like rainy days. When we have rainy days, my head's not right. I didn't like rainy days in the paint business because the paint contractors, a lot of them didn't work because of the mud and the rain. I don't like paint business. Uh, paint. I love the paint business. I don't like rain in the motorcycle business because of uh you know people don't get out and ride in the rain unless they have to strokers dallas merch m-e-r-c-h dot com check us out i'm gonna leave you with this did you know that old wade lincoln was a licensed bartender and that that's true and that Boys and squirrel, uh, girls is the rest of the story. Okay, I want to sincerely wish Happy Father's Day from one father to another. And uh, I hope you have a great day hanging out with your family. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, Rick, fearless, fearless. I got to go. I got a lot of work to do. Love you, bye. Hey. I will see you tomorrow.